Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Yeah, it's early in the morning, and I've just given everyone some water. Everybody is happy. I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I thank you guys for stopping by. Yeah, just chilling out with me for a minute or two. I hope you are having a wonderful morning as well. But now that I've given everyone some water, mm -hmm, I'm about to go inside because, y'all, it's warm out here. And, yeah, I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems. Let's see, can I get out of the way here? So I want to share with you all that uh, my fig tree here, Okay. She had these beautiful figs. Yes, she do. Look at that. She got more. Here's more over here. Let's see. Uh, there. She got it there. Let me see here. Help me do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she have a lot there. She have some here. And this is all on one tree, just one of my trees in the black pot with the birds. Now this tree, she don't have no figs, but I ain't mad with her, y'all. I'm not mad. <laughs> she, she don't have one fig on her, but it's all cool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go inside in the garage and drop some seeds. So, y'all come with me. Let's do that. Yeah. Yep, I'm in my garage because it is warm outside, <laughs> to say the least. And um, the weather um, says, the weather reporter says that we are, uh, we are having a... Um, heat advisory so this is what i'm planting today see can i focus this for you i'm gonna plant all four of my um kohlrabi seeds today yeah i'm just gonna plant a couple of each one yeah yeah but anyway they said we're having this heat advisory and um like right now it's 98 degrees outside but with uh, you know adding all that, that good humidity we have out there <laughs> and uh, the heat index there you got yourself some heat going on right so this one is the um, the white kohlrabi now, I noticed that when Jada and I was doing the, uh, the mail call, many people have said they never heard of kohlrabi or they never tasted kohlrabi. So, let me just give you a little information about a kohlrabi. A kohlrabi is um, like, if you if you're growing turnips, the bulb of a turnip grows underground, right? Well, the bulb of a of a of a kohlrabi grows above ground. Yeah, they grow above ground. They they have the uh, a flavor of of uh, a turnip bulb, uh, but not as strong and. They also have a sweetness. I find more people that eat um, kohlrabi, they they like to eat it just raw. Just peel it, cut it up, and eat it. Now I love I love it that way also, but I also love to stir fry it and put it in some noodles. Uh, and matter of fact, I did that one day. Uh, I'm thinking it was the day of um, the uh, the championship games we had here. 
in the dome last year with the Saints and I don't I can't remember who the other team was, whoever it was, but anyway. <laughs> that day uh, I cooked this meal. I cooked uh, just some stir fry. I, I tell you what, I'm gonna try and put that video somewhere, if not in the description box, somewhere around on it so you can see what I did. Yeah, I went out and harvest a a kohlrabi and came in the house and I cooked it. But they they have a little sweetness to them and they are so delicious. I love them so much. My mother introduced me to kohlrabi years ago and uh yeah, so yeah, that's how I love it, so I guess. <laughs> but uh it is one of uh, my favorite, favorite vegetables. Of course, you know, acquired taste. So, if you like turnips, then you would love a kohlrabi. If you're not a fan of the turnip bottom, you may not, you may not like it. Now, as I said, it does have a little bit more sweetness and it's not as pungent as a turnip bulb, right? Yeah, so that is what I'm planting on this side, all of my little kohlrabis. Now, on this side, I'm going to plant these guys. I'll show you. I'm going to plant uh, some Savoy cabbage. Uh, this <clears throat> purple cauliflower, which I think is really pretty. And one of my all-time favorites, this giant red mustard green. I'm going to plant her today. I'm looking forward to these um, plants growing fast. I'm going <clears> to <throat> water these in, and I'm going to set them out in um, the garden. So, what happens is, so check this out. When we start our spring garden, our soil is still kind of cool from the winter we just had. So if you direct sow, it will definitely take your, your, your seed some time to germinate in that soil because that soil is not warm. But Starting a fall garden is a whole lot different. Your soil is very warm from all this summer heat we're having. And because your soil is so warm, then your seeds will germinate quicker, faster. Listen, your seeds is like, <laughs> will be like popcorn. <laughs> And you put them in that soil with water, they will get out of there. They want to get out of there because it is so warm. And this is why when you direct sow or you sow your plants and put them in the sun, that they will, um, you will see them very quickly. It's because of that soil and, of course, the summer heat we've been having. Yeah. So... That is that. I'm gonna label everything on each side and I'm gonna put this baby outside in the garden. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I wanna thank you all for stopping by, hanging out with me in the garage <laughs> while I plant these, these seeds. And uh, I'm so looking forward to having a wonderful, wonderful fall garden. And I'm looking forward to enjoying your garden with you also. All right, guys. You all have a wonderful day. Later, y'all.